In this video, I'm going to show you how to start charity streaming step by step. Let's get into it. Hey there, I'm Soldier of the Cross and charity streaming is huge right now. It has been growing so much over the past few years. Check out this quote by Ali Sweetman in her influencer fundraiser blog. She writes that since 2011, Twitch creators have amassed over $200 million for charity. You heard that right, $200 million. If you're like me and got inspired to be a part of that, but not really sure where to start, then this video is for you. We're gonna go over basic steps on how to start charity stream. So let's go ahead and start with step one, and that is gonna be we need to do our research. Research a foundation or a charity that you can get excited about. Uh, your viewers are gonna feed off of that excitement, and they're gonna wanna support something that you're excited to support. So if you can't get behind that organization or your heart's not really in it, move on to something else. Then you wanna go ahead and learn as much as you can about the programs of the organization or charity that you want to support. That way, during your stream, you can speak to it to your viewers. Your organization may already have some resources in hand that you can use on your charity stream to provide the information to your viewers that they need. Step number two is that we're going to choose our fundraising platform. I personally would recommend Tiltify because it is immensely user friendly and you can also just sign in directly with your Twitch when you set up your Tiltify so that it's easy to integrate your stream when you build up your fundraiser. Other fundraising platforms that you can look into are Donor Drive and Just Giving. All right, step number three is you want to go ahead and start to plan your charity stream. So pick a date or a date range if you're gonna do more than one day of streaming or a four hour block or whatever it might be. You wanna pick your day or date range and you wanna pick the length of time that you'll be streaming. And then you'll also take a look at what kind of content you'll be streaming. So whether you'll be doing a just chatting kind of charity stream or playing a certain game or games, you wanna go ahead and plan that out. Then you'll start looking at what kind of incentives and milestones that you wanna have during your stream. Now these two groups of things you can kind of market together or you can kind of do separate to where you got some marketing pieces kind of announcing when you'll be streaming and what you'll be streaming and the other announcing the incentives and the milestones that your viewers can look forward to while they're joining your charity stream. On to step number four and this is where we're actually going to create our campaign page on our fundraising platform and set our goal. So a couple things you wanna keep in mind are things like your average viewership, your chat activity, just the size of your overall community, knowing what kind of reach you have, and making a goal that's appropriate to that. But don't let any of those things discourage you from setting a higher goal than you might usually set because you'd be surprised at the lengths you can reach when you put your passion behind these charity streams. So whatever goal that you set, just remember that every little bit matters to the organization or charity that you are supporting. On to step number five, and this is where we're gonna to start to share about our fundraiser and prep for our stream. So listen, use every channel available to you to share about your charity stream, to get the word out, family and friends, Discord, Facebook, Twitter. Don't hold back on letting the word out about your charity stream. The more eyes and ears that get in front of this information, the more support you're going to get. And when it comes to the day of your stream, as you prepare, make sure you've got plenty of water on hand, especially if you're gonna be doing a longer stream. Make sure you've got everything that you might need for incentives and milestones. If you're gonna be eating some crazy hot pepper, have that on hand, just so that there's no dead time in your stream as you're preparing some of these things. And so I guess that leads us to our last step, which is step six, and that is to launch your charity stream. So at this point, listen guys, congratulations. You have become a part of a huge community of creators who have raised hundreds of millions of dollars for charity. And every single dollar that you raise counts and it matters. And do remember that, please. Every single donation matters. You want to let your viewers know that whatever amount they're giving, even if it's $1, $10, $100, $1,000, that every single bit matters and you are making a difference. So I hope this guide was helpful for you. If you found any value in this, please like 
and subscribe because I plan to put out more videos about charity streaming, maybe with some incentive ideas, some milestone ideas, and also touch on different ways that you can continue to grow your charity streams as you keep them going. So thanks for stopping by and I will catch you in the next one.